Welcome to probably the final update regarding the S3 Verge thing. And of course I eventually wanted to see at least one game running because I think when I got this card usually we saved all our money and all our pocket money and newspaper delivery money and everything on, on the hardware so we usually didn't have money left for any games unless we got some shareware copy or something. And so back in the day I probably only run this demo that came with it some uh, terminal velocity or something but I think that was not the most impressive and I probably only run it once or twice and then I continued with my programming stuff and such and so one of the things with Verge support here on this DOS gaming stuff was Descent 2 of course a nice game by itself the problem is that this Descent for Verge only runs with the original Verge that I of course had but here we got the Performance Improved DX1 and I spent already way too much time the other week getting this to work. There is some Verge patcher thing that is supposed to patch this because ironically this card is as far as I see 99.9 or so percent register compatible so it should just work but that is a result of having to have direct support without drivers and DOS games and checking the device ID and then that's not the right ID. So I guess theoretically we could probably hex edit this and patch this code out there unless it has checksums that we also need to tweak. No idea how this protected mode loader stuff worked back in the day. Anyway, so here is some resident server thing, S3D server. And then you need to run the game that you want to patch support in or whatever that is doing precisely. Maybe someone wants to take it apart and analyze it. You need to run it with s3d run descent to verge. And it doesn't work. Why does that? Oh, this is a typo. Awesome error handling descent to verge. And the last times I did this, the other week, and I spent the whole Sunday afternoon on this stupid stuff and it always crashed with some segmentation fault, some paging, something. And <clears throat> the thing is, I already got suspicious because it came with a DLL that you had to, here's the readme type, read text, copy this, exit to some public directory, passing, copy this. And here is the point, this S3D toolkit, the so DLL to the Windows system directory and before I tried this in pure DOS and then this would only running this S3D run there would only segmentation fault. And now I've run this in the Windows 95 that I installed only for this register dumping yesterday and here it finally works. I was running the game in the emulator, it's not so much fun. Not so very fast anyway, at least not on this low power, ultra low voltage, slow Microsoft Surface thing. So already copied the whole virtual system image here to this hard drive. And let's see if it works on real hardware on the real card. And before you cry, I use here some Windows illegally. No, I have here my pristine original Windows 95 with some original CD key thing. And the only thing is, uh, not like we are skipping on software licenses, like Linus Tech Tips or so. And um, so let's professional start it here with this I.O. shield. I only hope this Windows is compatible enough to boot on this hardware. But if it doesn't, I have other PC motherboards. I hope one of them should be compatible enough. It's of course really a pity that this patcher thing does not run in raw MS-DOS. So let's see how many devices it will find. Also right now there's only an extremely crappy onboard sound card, although I think it's partially Sound Blaster compatible, but it sounded really crappy. If I really wanted to play it for some relaxing minutes I have to plug in a proper sounding sound card anyway. Found the system timer, yay! And the CMOS clock, unbelievable. And the keyboard, if it's a and the system speaker, I wonder, but maybe this is ACPI already or something, and now it's enumerating all the devices that the emulator had without ACPI. 
Hmm. I, I tune back in a second as soon as this hardware discovery stuff is over. We can restart, let's see what happens. It's slightly overclocked so from an earlier video, I think I shot it earlier this year. When I actually used it, I never run it that fast, actually I run it underclocked as it only supported uh, non fracture multipliers and I think it was faster 3 times 75 than whatever that was, 4 times 60 or so. And we must restart again because Windows discovered even more. Some IDE stuff, I wonder why did it say hardware discovery finished when now it discovered more, but it's probably Microsoft logic. And even more discovery, I really wonder why it couldn't do it all in one pass. There's a crappy audio adapter that we probably don't want to use. So let's see how many undetected devices do we have. Serial mouse, printer port, actually not so much here actually. It's not really creative though, but whatever, it's actually not, not too bad here, I think. And actually a sound blaster I have, so to get sound, if this game is really running, I could plug it in actually. So let's, the moment of truth. Actually, this is a actual copy I purchased just for this video, so also there we're not skipping on licenses. This is this is purchased from this GOG vintage gaming website. I hope it's legit. And um, so this was the server is 3D S3D run S decent merge. And it is indeed running. Amazing, and I wasted a whole Sunday the other months on this nonsense on DOS without Windows. So there you have it. Let's maybe view the demo. And then I guess I need a sound card. Yeah, but actually, oi, this runs super long, huh? I wonder what that is. EDT Winship overclocking. Or missing sound card. Actually, this game runs better than this demo, I have to say. Does the mouse work with this or? By the way, probably on full detail. Wonder which mode is this? Oh, this menu may have another mode anyway. Can we, by the way, use multiple controls? Yeah, we can use multiple controls. Didn't play it in a long time though. But the game, by the way, what was uh, there was some code for the frame rate. Uh, frame time. Oh. Yeah, frame time. So 15 frames, 16 frames. But this may be a higher resolution. Let's see. Um, info. This is actually 640 by 480. And. I think the original game, the software engine, run maybe in less. Let's see what the original version was doing. So this is original. So it runs in more frames. I wonder which resolution it is. So it runs with more frames on this slightly overclocked, again on this slightly overclocked IDT Winship 2. Again, um, so this IDT Winship 2 may not be the very highest performance as it is a low power, medium performance risk core inside there. So, <clears throat> 
even the high performance DX version still does not result in many more frames, but I think it probably looks better in my opinion. Let's try the problem is I'm can't, I cannot really be sure what the resolution is. This is maybe pixel doubled for here screen resolution. Actually it is 640 by 480 according to this. What is this? Let's see how fast this is running. Our stupid menu system this may be not have switched before. Yeah, that looks worse. So this runs at 60 frames, but looks obviously extremely pixelated. And when we compare this to S3D really run S2 decent to verge. So this one doesn't have a resolution toggle. I think in my opinion this filter texture has probably looked way better. So we lose a few frames there for the better look. It actually can maybe switch off the texture filtering. Yeah, I decreased the filtering and now it runs with 30 frames, but looks less nice. Would be cool if they actually had some more information what exactly they changing there. Yeah, there you have it, a little bit report of the DX2. I have not seen so many other videos directly comparing these details and also pointing out how to actually run this stupid patcher thing apparently only with windows i hope you enjoyed this little gaming update maybe i try to play it a little bit but for this i for sure need to first plug in a sound card to enjoy it a little bit more of course on the real hardware the setup won't run without the cd so let's copy here these ids for the sound config i plugged in there in sound blaster So E16, E18, five one five, and that is MIDI zero zero nine. Right, five five one five. I wonder, does it even work in DOS, in Windows? Hmm. Yes, that does work. So I found you some vintage overclocking tool, MCLK, supporting this S3 Verge. So I tried already, needs you some direct parameters. So I gave it here zero as a memory clock and as you can see it was 37 to 1 and apparently some multipliers you can see some formula and some constraints they can only go to like 31 and 3 and 127 and such so I just gave here the next best thing and so apparently according to this output from 69 we are now running overclock to 75 so let's see if that still works. Try this for the first time. And SVD run. So before doesn't really prove that much, does it? Oops. Not crashed, but that happened also before sometimes. Try 
this is 40 can go higher, right? So we had 37 or something, now 40, so whatever, right? Hmm, overclock to 85 megahertz. Let's see what happens. Maybe I need to glue heat sinks on the chip then or put a fan. But I think it is a little bit faster. Slightly reduced levels. Oh no, this is with full levels. No, with full levels. I think this is slightly faster. Wonder if it's stable then, though. Does it survive the demo? Yeah, but it, it's still not amazing, as you can see. So even if, even with, even with quite some overclock, the frame rates are not what people usually would want to play with. Fortunately, I have to, fortunately, I have to agree why people call it a DSL writer. But when you switch the detail level of filtering slightly down, it already improved quite a bit. Except here. Or is it not running the same? No, but here it improves it quite a bit. You can see 30. That is quite a bit up from what we had before. I mean, 30 is quite okay though. As soon as stuff happens, and the problem is I still have not figured out the key bindings here entirely. No, it froze. Okay. So much for the heavy overclock, I guess. Before we played with the frequency, it didn't lock up, so that is new.